Have you ever gotten the uncomfortable feeling of looking at a fractal? It seems to be an experience that I have felt while watching these hypnotizing yet disorienting YouTube videos. Many of these videos exist on YouTube primarily for the spectacle, although they are magnificent works of art that take hours to make and process. The way that the fractals work is both complex and simple. They are geometric shapes and patterns, those shapes that are concentric in their size while repeating indefinitely the same shapes and patterns over and over again. There is a whole complicated mathematical system to fractals, but that isn't really the point of this video. Meanwhile, the point is of what I want to talk about today is why are fractals so damn weird. In the real world, fractals don't exist like they do on paper or in animation. However, we can find fractal-like properties in nature, such as seashells and, heck, even architecture, even though that's not of nature. That is a man-made structure. A famous example of fractals in nature is the Romanesco broccoli. While this cauliflower is a delicious cuisine recipe that grows naturally in colder regions of Italy, it is a good example of its own self-similar appearance. If you may be wondering, self-similar means that it has the same shape of the larger structure that it internally resides in. A good example of this in geometry is the Sierpinski's Triangle. If you take an up-close look at the Romanesco broccoli, it retains the same shape as, it, as its whole larger structure in the same way. However, while the real world has fractal-like properties to it, the Romanesco broccoli is not a true fractal in itself. Once you zoom in close enough, you can see that it is made of cells like any other part of living matter. However, if you do look at flowers, for example, they do have patterns as well, such as leaves, Plants especially tend to have geometric patterns to them. Due to the properties of our real world as well, an infinitely small repeating structure is practically impossible due to the laws of physics that retain a structure's shape as it gets smaller. I think a part of what makes fractals so unsettling though is the fact that they are something that could never actually really happen in nature, hence making them unnatural in their behavior. While infinity probably exists in some way in the universe, our experience as humans is finite. Therefore, the world is constantly changing, and even then, we will eventually die. Good thing we don't live forever, isn't it? Therefore, due to our own vessel, we can never experience true infinity. Math being the language of the universe itself says otherwise, that some form of it could exist in a way that we can't experience. Speaking of which, there's a major difference between 2D fractals and 3D fractals, but they both still repeat their own structures indefinitely. In 3D, however, they really give you a closer glimpse of their true scale, while in 2D, there's not the precision of depth, so the shapes will get bigger and smaller. Another possibility, I'd say, of the fear you might not quite catch at the tip of your tongue is the phobia of extreme detail. This is called trypophobia. You've most likely seen these videos or memes explaining what trypophobia actually is, but it's not just the phobia of specifically clusters of holes, but it can also be detailed or repetitive patterns. While looking at the walls or ceiling of a cathedral, for example, it can feel daunting because of the surmountable size of the structure and their incredible detail given to them, in a way that's almost unexplainable, visually that is. In an evolutionary sense, we could have trypophobia because our brain could associate it with things such as bees or wasps, because they have hexagon shaped hives that repeat over and over again holes or the eye of a predator or diseases and infection. I get the same kind of feeling looking at fractals as I would sitting on the side of the Grand Canyon. I know I am safe but something could go wrong unexpectedly. I bet even if you asked a friend to hold an abandoned wasp hive, 9 out of 10 times the answer would be a hesitant no including myself, although I did eventually overcome my fear and did at one point. I think because it is truly impossible to comprehend endlessness, it adds a level of mysteriousness to fractals. Think about it for a second. Even though it is always zooming in, there is never truly a surface that coalesces inside 
of a Mandelbrot or a Burning Ship or a Serpinski's Triangle or a Menger Sponge and the countless other intricate shapes. It reminds me of falling inside of a gas giant planet such as Jupiter or Saturn. If you were somebody that didn't really know about how other planets work, especially the Jovian planets, and if you fell into Jupiter, it would only be clouds. You would eventually realize you would keep falling and falling with no end. That is why I compared it to sitting next to the Grand Canyon. If you are interested in the subject of fractals, I encourage you to look into other YouTube channels explaining the complexity of these things at their fullest. I am no means an expert on this subject or math, so there are many other YouTube channels out there that will greatly explain this subject to a much more detailed extent than I could. There are also programs and softwares you can use to create your own fractals as well. Even Blender you can use to create them. I don't know how they do it, but I guess they don't have their computers explode. That is it for my video. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content. And if you like my video, well, maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Other than that, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day and happy leap day as I'm writing this. It could be past. I'm not sure. See ya.